Hello, everybody. I made it. I'm here. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Rosa. I um, <laughs> I had my doctor's appointment this morning, and she was real pleased with me. And she told me, she said, you know, since you started coming here, you've lost 20 pounds. So I guess I'm doing something right. But I'm opening a sketch pad because I want to share some borders each week. And I'd gotten this sketch pad at the thrift store for $1.89. So I thought this would be a good one to just practice borders in. So we're going to start each week from now on doing a few borders. And we'll get started on that here in a minute. But while we wait on folks to come in, um, this is the pick eight that I did with Beth last night. Uh, I really like how it turned out. I haven't had a chance to do her second one, but I have it here. So if we finish up the Dirty Dozen, I might do Beth's second pick eight. And then this is the doodle card I did from Mary's Live on Friday. I just haven't had... I just have not had a moment to take a breath and make an envelope to mail to, to Mary. So hopefully she'll understand why it's taken a while. Um, Scott is still down at the house. He's been down there painting on the porch today, but he said when it got to be a hundred degrees, he, he called it a day and he went in. So I'm hoping he'll keep listening to his body. He woke up feeling so sick this morning, and so did I. And it's from the heat, because down there, it's a two-hour drive. It's about 97 miles from where we are up here in Greenville. And there's a 10 to 20 degree difference, plus the humidity is way different in just that two-hour drive. So the last two days that I was down there, yesterday and the day before, we worked out in the heat, but we took lots of little tiny breaks, lots of water, but we were both, it just really did us in. So trying to get him to behave while I'm not there is hard because, you know, he just wants to keep doing like he always has. Um, let me see who all else. Hey, Janet. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ann. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Kendra. And I got Rosa and Mindy already. So welcome, everybody. Um, I've got a little bit of happy mail here. This one is from Cheryl. I didn't see her in here yet, but I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then we're going to do some sketchy borders just to um, so I can share a couple borders. I, I thought just showing you guys about four or five uh, borders each week could be fun and expand everybody's, um, you know, border assortment that you can go to. So here she's made. A ATC. So start doing things you love. And I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not. But it's very pretty. And I'll add that to my binder. I put my binder up, so I might have to just put it back in its envelope. And then she sent these. Oh, look at the kitty cats and the donkeys. Let's see. Is there is there a Bernadette on here? Let's see if there's a Bernadette on here. Well, let's see. She kind of looks like the Maltese poodle. Her ears are roughly and fluffy like that. Somebody asked me if she was a cockapoo, um, part cocker spaniel, part poodle, and I don't know. Um, we pulled up to hike at the clay pits, and she came running out of the woods. So that's how we adopted her. So um, I don't know what breed she is 100%. We've always just said cocker spaniel. So let me see. Everybody's saying hi. Uh, Janice, good luck with that. I got a little area here clear <laughs> on my table. I've been trying to do better about picking up, but last night, you know, I had drove, I had worked all day with Scott, and then at about six, I headed this way. So I was about, I got here about an hour into Beth's live, 
and I just jumped on and um, and did that um, pick eight with her. And then I wrote the other one down thinking, oh, I'll do it in the morning. But then my doctor's appointment, you know, I had that this morning. Thanks, Janet. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Lisa. Just going through Happy Mail. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Um, I'm not sure what you had made. I see Mar Mary has hidden a couple people accidentally, I'm sure. So give her a minute. She'll unhide you. Um, yeah. And I was in my doctor's appointment and, and all of a sudden the do somebody knocked at the door and she and I were discussing a, a female issue. But um, she goes, oh, I'm sorry don't, don't hate me. And I was like, what's going on? And she said, do you mind if I go and talk with a patient before you? Um, I hadn't been able to talk with them because uh, somebody had broken in last night and stole their translating um, computer. So she had to wait to get another one in there. And um, I said, I'm, I don't, the, I drove all the way back up here for this appointment. I said, don't worry about it. Just go deal with them. And then she came back in and she spent a lot of time talking with me. This whole menopause thing, you, you're never told everything you're going to have to deal with. And I feel bad for young women that think old women are grouchy and they don't want to listen to us because we could like prepare them for all of this mess. Um. Uh-oh, Mary says she can't unhide people. Let me, um, hmm. Give me just a second, guys. I'll see what I can do. It's been a while since I've gone in here and looked at this, so it might take me just a second. I'm looking to see them. It was uh, Cheryl and somebody else. Some of these I do not want to unclick because they are not nice people. Okay. I got Cheryl undone. It's Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, it was uh, Dalton, right? Jennifer Dalton. Let's see if I see her. I'm looking. Uh, I don't see. I don't see Jennifer in my hidden users list. That's the only thing. I don't see her at all. Okay, so Cheryl should be back. We'll get it figured out, Mary. Don't get upset. We'll be fine. I can't find Jennifer in my list, though. That's my only thing. I don't see her in you know the list of mine that's hidden, but I got Cheryl un undone. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, premenopause lasts about 11 years. I went to a whole workshop on it and they don't 
I'm so glad I had gone to that workshop that our, at the time our insurance had put on because um, if I hadn't, I wouldn't have known half of what was going on with me. But because I'd gone to that, I, I wasn't as afraid of everything that was happening, you know, that I could have been. All right. Anyway, this one is from Janet. Look at her envelope. Isn't that pretty? I'm definitely going to have to do a painty envelope journal. Hey, Ruth. And uh, Pink Poodle Crafts is going live and she's doing her number 111 mixed media mashup. We'll do Dirty Dozen starting at eight o'clock because I want to um, I want to do these borders first, but the mail has to be first first. Second first will be borders, and then at 8 o'clock we'll do our dirty dozen for our artist trading cards. So she sent me at one, too. And like I said, I'll put these in my binder when I can remember where I put it up. It's just one of those moments where I was trying to clean quickly. So this is really pretty. I love purple and blue together. I think it's gorgeous. I'm sorry it's not focusing. I turned the autofocus off so that it wouldn't constantly do that, gu -gu -gu, you know, ticky ticky stuff. Oh, deli paper. I keep looking for deli paper. I never can find it. I, you know, we have a Sam's club, but I don't have a membership and we don't, we don't go in there enough for me to justify purchasing a membership to Sam's club. I, I, um, I unhid Cheryl, so she should be able to get in here. The only one that I couldn't get was, um, the other one. And Mary said she's going to try to be on tomorrow morning. Is that what you're saying, Mary? I went through two years of the worst hot flashes of my life. I thought I was going to boil from the inside out. So it, it's only temporary, although I've been told that some women never get over them. And I think I would, if I had not, not gotten over them, I would have thought about doing something drastic because that was horrible. But anyway, <laughs> this, he, this just one you did on your own, Jan, Janet? I love all the little, just little pieces of words where you read it. It says around and everybody something whether they admit it or not <laughs> she rolled her eyes fine her heel she started irritability in her voice the question might cost him <laughs> he knew better than any lady hated the helpless hurry up these are funny to read when it's just a little little bit Well, Lisa, if you do that, I'll send you something in return. I'll, I'll go through my stash and put together some stuff. I just can't. I've looked like at um, the grocery stores because somebody said you can get it sometimes at the grocery stores. Uh, not any of them around here. I'm not sure how you had that. There we go. So I'm going to put your um, ATCs in my binder in a little bit. Maybe I could die cut you some stuff, Lisa. Would that work as a good trade? Oh, I don't know. Did I show you the the um, um, these things that I made with Beth? Why can't I remember what these are called? <laughs> Amalgamations, um, whatever. But I made this one first, and I really liked how it turned out. Clusters. Doggone. I can't remember that. It just will not stick in my brain. So I did that one. And then um, Beth did an all-white one. And I said, ooh, I can do an all-white one. And I had a glass slipper. Well, it's plastic, but you know. And so this is my all-white one. And boy, the camera doesn't like it. It's got the shiny buttons, and it's got glitter on it. I love how they turned out. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll cut out some stuff for you. I'll try to make sure it's stuff you don't already have. Um, so that was the end of that. 
So what I was going to do is I got this sketch pad at the thrift store and I wanted to share several borders and I'm just going to use the width of my ruler and make some borders on here. But what I'm going to do is give myself a working space. I might just do it in strips. I'm going to do five borders tonight and we'll do more another night, but I'm just going to put spaces and make kind of a, a journal of borders that I could refer to later. And this is just a cheap um, sketch pad that I picked up at the thrift store for $1.89. I think it's a dollar store one. So I probably paid too much if it's a Dollar General one. I'm uh, not Dollar General, but the other one, Dollar Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to, I did my lines, the width of my ruler, which I think is an inch. And that'll be good enough. And I might put, I might ought to put a piece of wax paper because I think when I write on this, um, it's going to go straight through. Hang on, I'll be right back. So I was um, telling Beth the other night in one of her lives, I said, do a wavy checkerboard uh, border. And she couldn't visualize it. So I said, well, I'll show you how to do it Wednesday night. Yay, they're both back in. Yay. So I'm glad you got back in. Sometimes it takes a little while. So what I was um, trying to get Beth to, um, to see when I was saying is what you do, pretend the line is the side of the page because I'm, I want to work this one. And you just do like this all around your page and then just divide it. So it looks like a um, roller coaster. So you make a roller coaster and you give it its supports and then you just draw lines, straight lines again. Okay. And then you just start at one end. So you colored that one, you leave this one white, you leave that white, and then you make this one dark. Then you go back up and make this one black, and then come down here and make this one dark. And if you want the white portions of it to be even whiter, you can use your Posca pen or you can let the, the marker completely set and go in with a paintbrush and paint your, your white squares more white if you want that real uh, kind of racing check border. And this just gives you, it looks really cool on a page.
So I'm going to quickly just color this in. You just have to keep in mind you're making um, a checkerboard like gingham so you don't you don't accidentally color the one that's right next door to its neighbor I'm probably not going to color the um, white squares in tonight just so that um, we can go through all of these or I'll get to the, the end of the five that I'm planning to do tonight. And maybe if we have time before eight o'clock, I'll go ahead and color the white squares. So Scott said he got the uh, old ceiling fan down on the porch. And I think he got a little bit of painting done out on the porch before it got to be 100 degrees. And he just had to. Um... Oh, Cheryl, that's fine. I love the ATCs. Thank you very much. So then... The next one I was thinking could be fun is if you did a floral border. And what I do is just make a make a short line, a medium line, a long line, and then a medium line and a short line, and then a medium line and a tall line. And then, you know, just keep doing so it's staggered. Medium, tall medium short medium tall medium short and then you can just do your little flowers this pen nib is a little um too much but you get the idea and you can add leaves if you want to And you can color the flowers if you want to. And you can make your flowers um, point to the edge of the page, or you can turn your book and have them point to the inside, whichever you want to do. Let me go ahead and. This would look better with um, a smaller nib pen. So I'm going to finish adding big bulky flowers to these stems I've already drawn and I will get a thinner nibbed pen and show you the rest of the row because it really does look cute and plus if you used a, um, a smaller marker you'd have more space to add color so let me get a different marker or even a pen if we if you use just like a ballpoint pen see then you can do kind of a doodly flower. And don't worry about if they're exactly in the right order or whatever. As long as you got flowers going all the way around your page, it'll look all right. It'll look just fine. And see if you added some leaves. I 
and you could add color. But see, I think it looks cute. Yeah, we missed Canada Day. Um, it was the other day. Uh, somebody was talking about it, I think, in one of Mary's. And Barb said, yes, it was Canada Day. So happy Canada Day belated to all of the Canadian folks we got in our family. Forgive me, but I'm going to have to keep drinking throughout this because I've been in the garage here trying to... Um, move everything around out there so that we can bring um, some of our belongings up here that I already have boxed up and get them out of our way down at the house um, to kind of get that house emptied out. So when we're ready to list it, we won't have, you know, to do a mad rush. Then we can have some of it moved out now. And, um, I worked on it for two hours today and I'm going to finish up in the morning. So that's just a little floral border that you could do. Yeah, I'm just making borders to because um, I wanted to show Beth how to do the checkerboard one. Um, cause I told, I told her, I said, do a wavy border with black and white check. And she didn't, um, she couldn't visualize it. What I was saying. Sometimes when somebody suggests something, you just, you don't, you can't picture it, you know? And so, um, another one you could do for a border is if you did pencil line and just did wavy like this on your page, do wavy. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to match. It doesn't have to do anything. But see, then you could come in. You've got two register lines that you can erase later. And you could write something in fancy letters. And just make sure the top of your letter meets the top of the lo top line. And the bottom one follows the line that's going here. And I like to do this on my envelopes that I mail out, too. Yeah, if I was doing it all in black and white, I don't have a, I don't think I have a, just a black pen here. But yeah, if you made borders and then you did, um, like Janet said, if you made copies, then you, you could actually have them on hand to just cut apart and just add to something and you could save yourself some time. That's a good idea. I could always go over this with something black later. Maybe I'll pick up some black pens. And see, when you erase the register lines, then it just looks like your words are um, dancing across the page. And I love that. 
So I said I would do five. So that's three. So let's think of what else we could do. Do you all have one that you'd like to share that you could describe to me? And I'll do my best to, to share it. Ruth got her ATC from me. I hope all of the postcards and everything I mailed out a couple weeks ago made it made it to their destinations. Do some circles. Well, when I think about that, you could do um, different size circles. You could do them so they're linked together. You could do large and small. So I'm going to just do like this and then maybe put this one through here and then maybe make a great big one. This marker is, I need to pick up some like Mary does and get them in bulk. <laughs> And just don't worry about um, making it exactly the same all the way across because if you do them varying sizes and just move them around as to where you have them and if they overlap or not, then there's no mistakes. You have just made a, a varied chain kind of going across and around your page. And I like to do varied stuff because then it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. <laughs> so there's some O's, O's across the page. You could also just do See, I don't have them touching there, but I'm not going to worry about that. This is a practice sheet. And then if you occasionally just leave a space again, it looks like it's supposed to be like that. And then if you really wanted something fun, you could just turn them into donuts. It all depends on how much time you want to spend on your borders. Now, see, I'd color these brown and then maybe come in with some um, punched out um, confetti and just kind of glue it along on them. And they'd be kind of fun little donuts. So you could do donuts. Hi, Mary Hill. I might just go ahead and fill this page up with borders. Mmm, donuts. I know, but I'm trying so hard. Um, she said that if my A1C keeps coming down, I can avoid those shots for a few more years, which makes me happy. It's not insulin. It's something else that they've got where I, I give myself a shot once a week and I don't want to do that. So I've tried to be extra good. Ooh, Mary. Mary has a good one. Um, hearts hanging on strings is always a fun border. And do them at different, length, different lengths of your string.
So I just make draw the string down and then I just start making my heart. That helps you get the spacing good too. All right. And um, swirls with leaves is fun. I want to share one that I just like to do. It's just you make a kind of a irregular squiggly line like this. And then everywhere there's like I'll do like this this way and then switch it this way, this way and kind of just space the little hash marks about the same distance apart. And then you can come in and make some dots. And that makes a fun little border. I'm getting. Oh, a border swap could be fun. Um, swirls with leaves, swirls. Let me see if I can do swirls. And that one will be the last one I do for tonight. And then you can come off here, maybe go this way this time. And that fills our page up. And I'll try to go back through the chat and write down the ones you guys have said. Um, so I can do them next week if that'll work for you guys. And we'll do a, sh a page of doodles, doodly borders each week throughout July. Will that work for everybody? And then maybe we'll switch and do something else for... Um, the rest of the year each month pick a theme to do each week and i'll i'll try to come up with ideas to to do i just thought a border um sharing borders could be you know something fun some we might come up with a a border that nobody's seen yes that'd be great if you guys want to share in group that would be awesome and um what I can do is if I get you guys permission, I can go through the ones y'all share and I'll share them on this channel on Wednesday night so that those that aren't in our group can still see them and benefit from the share if that's okay with everybody. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We did eight instead of five today. So you can do all kinds of borders. Thanks, Lisa. And it's only 7.38. I already have my paper pulled out for the Dirty Dozen. So I do not have any prompts for tonight's Dirty Dozen. Do we want to do like we did last week? And I'll just pull some from you guys. Um, how do you guys want to do it? Did you guys like last week where you guys chose the prompts and then I just wrote them down and then folded them up and put them in a container. So doodly borders, we'll do doodly borders for July. Thanks, Cheryl. All right, let me get a piece of just, um, you know, plain old paper that I can write them down on and tear it up.
We've got our handy dandy green bowl and a pair of scissors and a pen. This is the second page of Bernadette's booking. I can use it. I, I booked her a, a grooming session. I want them to grind her nails this time so that they're not quite so sharp. She always wants to jump up on my 92-year-old mother-in-law, which is not good. Hi, Norma. Okay. Wavy lines. Use a stamp. Stars. Everybody wants stars. Is it for patriotic? Stars. Stencil. Splatter paint. Um, red and blue. Red and blue. Circles. If I missed one, I'm sorry. I'm trying to. They're going by so fast. Um, add some paint. That'll give somebody a chance. Circles with text. Bubble wrap. Make lines with a card. Stripes. Add torn paper. Hi, Mags. Scrap paper. We're getting ready to do a dirty dozen prompt session. Use gold. Use green. And I know we've got more than um, than twelve, but this will give us a chance that if we need um, if we need alternates, we'll have some. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think that's good. What do you guys think? And I'll chop these up and we'll start drawing them. having problems Kathy unless I if I don't have my ethernet co um, cord plugged in I keep buffering so I just went ahead when I started tonight I just plugged my cord in so that I wouldn't lose you guys thought I had peace in my hand <laughs> Bear with me and I'll get these folded up. Look at that blister I got. Ugh. 
but I got all the mag stupid magnolia. I hate magnolia trees. I'm sorry. I hate them. <laughs> they drop stuff all the time. If it's not leaves, it's branches. If it's not leaves or branches, it's those little seed pod things. And if one of those hits you in a storm or something, it hurts. You might want to try refreshing. Refreshing? Oh, my goodness. I don't know how this is going to go, you guys. Apparently, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> He got Mary. He got the entire house pressure washed from roof to the bottom. He pressure washed the brick even. The house looks really nice right now, and um, I helped him with a. Um, there was a section on the fascia where there was we had an opening about that much that the shingle molding was not going to cover, so he cut um, a sh a shim kind of piece to put in there, and. Um, I helped him with that. And boy, getting up and down on a scaffolding is, it really kind of unnerved me. I'm not used to that. I'm used to walk a walk up ladder. Scaffolding's another beast entirely. Oh, your kitty, poor baby. But I did it and we got it done. We were out in the sun. Um, the temperature was 96-ish, but the heat index had it over 100, and then today it reached 100, and Scott just called it quits uh, at about 5 o'clock and was inside. And I told him, I said, get up early, work, do all the outside stuff that you can before it gets hot, and then do some stuff inside, because we've got... Um, We've got some light fixtures to swap out and that kind of stuff. And it's looking like we have to replace the duct work on the, um, cause see when we put the new furnace in a few years back, we did not get them to replace the duct work, but now the, the dampers have both failed. So our bedroom gets cold as like a refrigerator, but the rest of the house does not. So it looks like we're going to have to, to deal with paying for that now but scott his main focus right this week is to get the fascia done and painted and then the next time we go down we're having um the shingle molding delivered from home depot they didn't have enough in stock to deliver the whole amount so they they couldn't deliver it until the 12th so that that'll we'll go down and we'll get that put up quickly and um then we can call the roofer and have him come out and get a team out there and put a new roof on the house. All right, everybody ready? We're going to do our dirty dozen, which is 12 prompts where we get our hands absolutely filthy. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer, it's been horribly hot. Um, it's currently 93 here and 97 down by our house. So it's four degrees different, but the heat index is what kills you. All right. Here's the first prompt. Use green. And I need to number these like I did last week. So I'm just going to grab a green and my Bondo spreader. And I'm just going to cover the whole thing in green. So my background is all green. Bernadette was glad to get back up here where she can be in with mama in the in the crate. I don't have a, anywhere to um, keep her away from the cats down there, the indoor cats. So she stays out in the yard and she doesn't like that much. She's become a very pampered pooch. I let her in the bonus room some, but I love using a a card or a bondo spreader on the first prompt because you can cover your whole thing up quickly. And this is 
bright green, it says. My grandmother would have called this Kelly green. This is the color. She always wanted the shutters on her house to be painted, but the uncles wouldn't let me paint. And they said they'd get around to it, and then they never did. Scott just lets me do all of the painting I want to do. <laughs> and then some. He told the realtor that we were seeing at that house that I could outwork most men. <laughs> oh, goodness. Say tight to your daughter. <laughs> I'm almost done. I kind of ripped this crooked, but I thought it wouldn't matter because we end up with that, you know, when we're cutting them apart, there's always that little section that you lose anyway, so... All right, there's used green. I actually remembered to wet my rag tonight. Oh, what's going on with Janet? Oh, goodness. They're going upstate. We used to get a lot of people from the city. We used to get fresh air children when, um, you know, I was a lot younger. Do they still do the fresh air children, Janet? Do you know? We would get kids from the city for the summer and they would come and hang with us on the farm. I don't know if the fresh air program's still going or not. I hope she has fun. I always tell Greg he's going to have to start. You haven't heard of it? Oh no, Janet's buffering. You've never heard of it? It was all through the '60s and '70s. Oh, goodness. Buffering is bad. Oh, yeah. I was just told my connection was having problems. Everything okay now? Are we good? Okay. All right. I'm going to pull the next. Okay. I'm going to pull the next prompt because I'm ready to go. Uh-oh. Mr. Buff, you need to go away. We're playing. All right, I'm going to call the next prompt, and I'll type them in if I have to. Add torn paper. Janet got it.
I had to take some pants back because I bought a size too big. And then I decided I just wasn't even going to try to get the next size smaller on them because I was at a different store. And um, I sent Scott a message. I said, I should have my head examined trying to go to Walmart the day before a holiday. Wow. Was it crazy in there or what? And you know what? Aldi's has um, the most delicious watermelons for a dollar cheaper than um, Walmart. So if you have an Aldi's, not Ollie's, Aldi's, check them out. And they're delicious. I bought a second one. We ate the other one over the weekend. Or over Monday and Tuesday, not the weekend. Scott being off during the week is really messing with my brain. Good night, Mags. Bye-bye. All right. We'll watch for you, Mags. I told Scott, I said, when we get settled, I'm going to start doing some morning. Um, not as early as Mary, but I'm going to do some morning um, lives. So I can catch up with Linda McAllister and, and Pin too sometimes. I just pulled out the Mod Podge this time. I set my rooster to go off at 5.30 so I could get back up here and get a bath or shower before I came on because working in that dirty garage, I was quite the wreck and miserably hot. So I was glad to get out of the garage. We just were trying to move all of the stuff Adele has in the garage, you know, kind of to the back corner. So I can bring some of our stuff up out of the house, out of our way. Kind of hoping to be able to bring up enough in the truck when we come back up here in the next couple days to have room in the bonus room out there for the, um, the shingle molding so that it, it will be in a place that's dry. I thought I had one more piece, but that's okay. If I don't have any more pieces, I'm not going to worry about it. I thought there was one more. No, that's a Home Depot receipt. Don't want to do that with the Home Depot receipt. Yes, we are still looking for a new home up here. Um, that one was, that was just a train wreck and a half that we went and looked at. It was, it was really bad. Scott hadn't even noticed that great big crack above his head. And I said, did you see that crack? He said, no, I didn't. And I was like, man, look at that crack. And then he's, he looked on the other side of the wall in that bathroom and the crack ran all along the wall and the shower pan, pan had been replaced. And then there was that weird hole in the wall by the vent and then the crack we found was out in the hallway, across the ceiling in the hallway. And then in the other bathroom, along the underneath the cabinet, there was like this weird 
opening in the floor where the there was nothing there. It was just like you could see the studs. It was strange. Hi, Violet. And so we gave the man that we saw, um, you know, an idea of what we were looking for. I haven't heard a word back from him. So I, I have no idea if he's really looking for anything or not. It seems like if they're hot to sell a house, they, you know, call you. But we haven't heard from him. So I don't know. We'll just keep plugging away on our house. And if we get it sold, we'll have cash in hand. And, you know, it might make buying another house go a lot smoother if we don't have to, you know, do financing. Hi, Maria. Hi, Kendra. Jen Yates. I hadn't seen Jen Yates in a while. Has anybody else had her in a live? And Danny Coleman. I saw Danny post into the group. I was thinking maybe we need to card shower Danny and Jen and see how they're doing. Is anybody ready? Hi, Eileen. I got a lot of new names in here. Welcome, everybody. I don't want to go if you're not ready. Um, I, I go pretty fast, and I don't want to lose you guys. I don't know who all is playing or not. All right, Sharon says she's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it and hope Mary's ready if she's playing. Um, splatter paint. So number three, splatter paint. And I think I actually put a fan brush in my water. I did. So I guess I'm going to go with the red, white, and blue theme. I'll have to get a, a cloth to cover the laptop. Hang on, let's see. I'm just going to splatter with white. And I got this to cover my laptop. So I don't get paint all down in the keyboard. That would not be good. Um, the I used glue sticks on um, my box I made for my perpetual calendar, and I went to to work on it the other day, and all of the paper was coming off. So I I try not to use glue sticks. That's going to be an interesting spot um, on things like that. The glue sticks just don't work in a humid environment. That's for sure. I re-glued it with tacky glue.
Bernadette is fussing in the background. She, I took her out right before I came on here, so she's going to have to wait. And I'm, I am trying to get this just about everywhere because I'm cutting it up into artist trading cards at the end. So I want a little of it on every single one, you know. All right. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem to hold. Hi, Mark. I'm going to dry this real quick, you guys. Oops, I've got my cutting board on top of my heat gun cord like a dingbat. <laughs> There you go. I'll find somewhere else for our prompts. There we go. doing a dirty dozen prompt session and this will get chopped up into artist trading cards we're doing a swap in my group where we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing each week throughout july so by mid-august you should have nine sets of nine artist trading cards and we're gonna put them in a trading card page and mail them flat in a large envelope to our groups I have one group and then a second group is forming in my group. Um, and you'll send one to each of the other nine participants. So you keep, this will make 10 artist trading cards. You keep one for yourself so you can create another page in your own binder that's for you to keep. And the other nine you'll mail out. I made mine really chunky last week. So when I put them in the binder, the binder went. Whoop. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can mail them without a problem. I hadn't thought about how fat they get when you add like um, wooden butterflies and things like that. They get quite chunky. Okay, Cheryl says she'll be right back. Okay, Ruth is ready and Sharon is ready. I'll get our prompts back up here. And um, Janet said that some people keep their glue sticks in the fridge to, to keep them from getting real mushy. So let's put these around here. All right, Anne is playing too. Let me set that down. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Copper. This is number four. Number four is copper. Now you can add that any way you want to. Um, copper. 
I think I'm going to get a larger stencil so I can do the whole page in one shot. do this that it's kind of a smaller um a smaller stencil sorry if i shook you guys since these are going to be artist trading cards i didn't want to use something with great big you know open gaping holes in it that doesn't look like the right side oh look i've used copper with this one before I definitely want to do it on all of the little white pieces of paper to kind of knock that white back. Looks like I need more. I'm going through the copper pretty fast. I might have to pick up another. Another bottle. My sister had a cat walk into her classroom one day when she was teaching and she adopted him and now he's her little um, studio kitty and he's been leaving the gift of cat paw prints in her thrown pottery pieces. <laughs> she says, I have to just let it happen magically because the cat won't have any part of me um, trying to get him to do it. So I have to just wait until he decides a piece needs the the addition of a paw print. So she posts pictures of paw prints in bowls and cups and saucers and <laughs> it's kind of funny. about metallic paint it really um it stays sticky has anybody else noticed that how sticky it stays I'm going to throw this in the sink. My daughter dots. Aww. Little adorable paw prints.
And that's for the cats, not the dog. She's the cat. The dog is here. The, the cats come to a whistle. Two of them do. Howard doesn't come for any calling or anything much, unless it's Scott. I think he's mad at me because I didn't bring Scott back with me this time. That's fine, Dawn. Just write the prompts down. Oh, geez. Thunder with Cheryl. Is anybody ready? I got my copper on. We're supposed to have storms move in tomorrow. All right. Suzanne says she's ready. Okay. I've got a bunch of ready. So here we go. I've got one in my fingers. And it says <laughs> stencil. So number five is stencil. So you can use any color you want. Hi, Scrap Chick. So maybe I'll use something out of my little binder. And somebody commented that they like this. This is just a little brag book from the dollar store, you guys, that I put my, and this is not my idea. I got this idea from Cindy Utter. All right, Howard, just a minute. I'm trying to do ones that can, that'll go either way because, um, you know, some of these will get cut one way and some get cut another. And I said, Howard wouldn't come to a whistle and he's at the door. All right, so trying to think of what color I want to go with this. What color do you guys think I ought to use? with the copper and the green. Yeah, his name's Howard, he, we, he comes to Howie. Okay, I'm gonna use blue. Uh, we have Howard, but his nickname's Howie. And then we have Tippy and Callie. And um, Callie gets called Queen Callie because she's the most important female here above me, she thinks. Hi, Howie. Come on. And Howard's a business cat. He has meetings. He shoots out the door sometimes and Scott says, oh, he's late for a meeting. You know, when we go away overnight, I leave food out for them, a big old plate of food. And those stupid raccoons must have come through um, like a whole tribe of them or whatever a group of raccoons are. I don't know what a group of raccoons are, but they emptied the plates. So when I got here uh, yesterday, the cats didn't have anything to eat. And I felt so bad. I don't know what to do. I can't rely on the lady across the street anymore because she does. She's not all there most some days, so we couldn't be guaranteed that she'd take care of them. So I just make additional trips up and down the road to take care of the kitty cats. Not that any of them would starve to death because they'll they'll kill stuff if they get hungry enough. When I pulled up from my doctor's appointment, Howard had a, about a two foot long black snake um, goofing with it, playing around. And I told him, I said, don't mess with that snake. Leave the snake alone. And I tried to cover the snake and it took off like 
it had been shot out of a gun. It just went, shoom. It's like, well, I guess he was sick of being picked on by the cat. And then I just sent him over the edge. <laughs> and I was just trying to protect him. pretty intense but I think the glue does go good I'll throw this in the sink. That one's not in our pile. Everybody chose the prompts early on. I'm just re I'm pulling them out of the hat from the prompts that, that y'all came up with. Yeah, nobody suggested that one. Ruth is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and pull another one from the ones that we gathered together earlier. All right, so this is going to be number six. We're halfway. The red and blue. So you can do anything you want with red and blue. If anybody ever wants me to draw another one as an alternate, all you have to do is put ALT in the chat and I'll draw one. So I'm going to get a different blue and a red and do something with it. Um, I think I'm going to do this little one with the blue, and then I'll do something else with the red. Blue is your favorite color. Is that what you're saying? I 
think the stencil's gotten warped a bit. <laughs> and then I need to do something with red. Um, I think I'm going to grab something out of my... Uh, bag of stuff here. I think I'm going to use my... Um, whatever this thing is called. <laughs> Pot holder or whatever little map thing. Yeah, if you go to a dollar store, don't neglect going into the kitchen items. And just look at what you can like make marks with. Think about if I put paint on that, could I set it down on the paper and get, you know, some kind of design with it? You don't have to just go to the art supply store, that's for sure. If you... If you rely solely on arts and craft stores, you're missing a bunch of opportunities for color and fun. All right. Again, I'm going to throw the stuff with paint on it into the sink. see ya. Hi, Joan. Janet's putting the prompts down, um, her and Cheryl, if you want to write them down. And um, then you can do them, you know, at your own speed. My water looks dirty, but it's because I used I put the leftover coffee from the coffee pot over my ice when I came up here from the garage so I could have iced coffee. It was very tasty. Oh, goodness. So if you just got here, at the very beginning of tonight, I shared the happy mail I got from Cheryl and Janet. And then I did eight different fun doodly borders. And we're going to do um, probably eight borders each week. I'll try to come up with eight different ones to show um, everybody some different borders to put on your projects. All right. Norma's ready. Let me keep forgetting where I set the bowl down. So this will be prompt seven. And I don't look at them. I'm just looking at the chat. I got one in my fingers. Bubble wrap. 
So seven is bubble wrap. Seven is bubble wrap. That's good. Everyone should do things they enjoy. All right. And I'm not going to clean this because then that leaves you nice gooey, gooey globs that could come out later on your jelly plate. So I just throw that back over there. I'll just throw this sponge in my paint jar. Yep, big bubbles. <laughs> I'm going to dry a little bit. What I like about that big bubble wrap is you get wrinkles in the bubbles. See all the little wrinkly lines? Okay, Kathy, we don't have too many left to go. Yellow fingers. <laughs> and like I said, if we finish this one up, I want to do um, the second pick eight from um, um, Beth last night. I didn't get to do it. I was just, by the time we um, she got done calling the last one on the second, I had finished my first one. And I was just so tired from working all day and then the two hour drive up. And I had to stop, you know, halfway at the rest stop, let the doggy go do her thing. And yeah. As soon as somebody says they're ready, I'll pull one. Ruth says she's ready. Let's see what I got here. So this will be number eight. Number eight says wavy lines. So you can add your wavy lines with black, white, or any other color you want to. Wavy lines. I wonder if this is dry enough that I could use marker on it. I think I can get away with it. Well, Howie.
You want to go on the porch. Okay. Wavy lines. I think I just want to use marker because I've already got so much paint on this. The only thing is, is my red marker is shot. Let's see, what color should I use? That purple is not purple. I don't know what the yellow is like. Let's see. It probably won't even show. Only when it hits the white. Scott goes back to work next week. I think I'm going to need a vacation from his vacation. It doesn't really show. Can you all even see it? I wonder if I ought to try a different color. I'm going to turn it and do wavy lines in the opposite direction or something here. Maybe this way. Now those show. Almost got like a zigzag line that last little bit instead of wavy. All right. I'm going to say I did wavy lines. An alternate for Mark. Let me see. All right. Alternate. An alternate for eight is stars. Number eight, alternate. If you want to do both, you can. Okay. So I'll leave it up to you guys, whichever one of those you want to do, or if you want to do them both. I'm ready for the next one. Susan's ready for the next one. So prompt nine coming up. I can get a hold of one. Prompt nine. Circles. Is everybody okay with circles, or does somebody want me to pull an alternate? I like to do circles. Circles are easy. I might do some white circles. Jennifer says, yay, circles. And I'm just going to use, keep the circles. I'm just going to use the inside of a tape roll. Let's see. If I put my scissors away, then they'll be out of the way. How's that sound? Imagine that. If you put stuff up, it's out of your way. Keep the circles. Everybody likes the circles.
might as well use my paint bottle I got out here. Hey Beth, I was going to, when I finished this dirty dozen, I was going to um, do your second um, pick eight from last night because I didn't get a chance to get it done with the doctor's appointment this morning and having to clean the garage out here so I can bring some, some of our stuff up from the other house. All right, I'm going to call that good. Wipe the bottom. Oh, somebody wanted an alt. Alt for nine is stripes. Alt for nine is stripes. And you can make your stripes with a paintbrush or whatever you want. I've already done circles, so I'm doing circles. Trying. I have my first one I did with Beth right here. And I ended up, I had to trim. I Remember, I've been doing these for card fronts. And I like to usually leave the little white border but we, um, using my masking tape. But what happened is when you called for um, scrapbook paper, I wanted to re-stamp the flowers that I had stamped on the background on the scrapbook paper. And then just fussy cut around them. That's why I, I didn't get to your second one because while you were working on the second one, I was fussy cutting all these flowers out. <laughs> so um, then when I sprayed it, the pink and white stripes turned to the red and then I used a gold um, gelato around the flowers and I love how it turned out. So I'm still gonna make this into a card. It just won't have that pretty border because I had to cut it away because I overlapped the fussy cut flowers on the masking tape and it just made a mess. So I just cut it right at the edge of the worked area. And then after I got it loose from the paper, I added the brads because you had brads on there and I added my words. But I had a lot of fun and it was a nice, it was nice to do some art after doing so much physical labor all that day. But I definitely wanted to do the second one because I was the one that um, was telling you, everybody will call out a technique and then you tell us which colors. And I thought that was so much fun. I want to do it tonight. So anyhow, Ruth is ready. So this will be prompt 10. We only have three more to go. Thank you, Beth. I'm my own worst critic. I can find problems with everything I do. <laughs> um, Norma's asking if Lisa's still here. All right. Use a stamp. Now, it can be a rubber stamp or you can stamp with a household item. Um, just stamp something and you can use ink or paint. She's still here. 
So ink or paint and use a stamp of some sort. my stuff tub of stuff out oh no don't roll away don't blow away i gotta have you um i think we've got enough circles tub of stuff oh i think i'm going to use my my scrubby brush because it'll make just little little dots of color here and there. Because this is starting to look like a hot mess. So I'm just going to go to the color families I've already used here and put out a little bit more blue. And I'll just... Busy one, Janet. <laughs> That's fine, Christy. Janet put one through ten above. So if you want to write them down and do them later, that's fine. Hey, Journey. Hey, Barb. Sure thing, Beth. I might have to put when we get done, I'll have to put these the prompts that we used in the in a bowl in the bowl so that they don't blow away from the air conditioner. See how that little scrubby thing, it just makes little teeny things. And that's something else you can pick up at the um, Dollar Tree. It's just a, a kitchen scrubber. And it just leaves like these little speckly spots. And I just think it's cool. And I will add the prompts from tonight. Um, all right, Ruth is ready.
I took care of it. <laughs> it's getting on my nerves. Um, I don't even know what prompt we're on. 11? I think you said you posted 1 through 10. Is that right? Yeah, 10. All right. Circles with text is 11. Circles with text. I'm trying to think how I can do this. Circles with text. Does anybody else want an alternate? circles with text. That might be one I could do at the end when they're cut up into artist trading cards. So I'm going to use that for the quote I add to these on a separate piece of paper. I'll just do some circles and then write it in a circle. So circle punch book pages. Yeah, that we could do that. So everybody's saying an alternate. So I'm going to pull an alternate. Scrap paper is the alternate. Number 11's alternate is scrapbook paper or scraps of paper. Is everybody okay with that or do you want me to pull another alternate? Because we are on number 11, so we only have to do one more after this. I can pull another alternate if somebody else wants one. All right, so another alternate for 11 is going to be add some paint. So 11, alternate, add paint. So you can do an, either any of those three. And then we'll when everybody's ready to go to 12, we'll go to 12. So... I am going to add some paints. I think I'm going to do something with a card. That didn't do. All right. Hi, Lynn J.
All right, I'm gonna dry this a little and then I'll call out 12. I think she did put all the alternates up. Or, or the second alternate for 11 was add paint. And after I get off, I will add all of the prompts to the description box. And I'm going to put them in our group in the um, Dirty Dozen prompt sessions. So if you want are in the group and you want to join in the fun, you can work on the, the two other ones we've done so far. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull the last one. So whenever you get ready, the last one is use gold. And I just used gold. So prompt for 12 is use gold. Is everybody okay with that? Well, um, Kendra, I have a file going. So they can just print them off out of the file, but I appreciate it. I think what I might do is um, use gold on my edges and edge each artist trading card in the gold that I just used. This Inca gold, I think I will do that. Um, the two alternates for 11 were, the first one was, um, let's see, the first prompt for 11 was circles with text. Then I picked scrap paper for the first alternate, and then the second one was add some paint. So these are the alternates. And then 12 is use gold. 10. I don't know if we did. Did we do any alternates on 10? I don't think we did. We use, use a stamp. And then on 9, we had an alternate on 9. They blew and got all out of order. So bear with me for just a second. All right, nine was circles or an alternate with stripes. Now I'm going to put a clip on them so they're all together and in order. And then eight was wavy lines. Alternate for eight was stars. And then seven was bubble wrap. Six was red and blue. Five was stencil. Four was copper. Three was splatter. Two was torn paper. And then one was used green. And now they're all in order. And I will clip them. Just with a clothespin. And they won't get blown all over the place again. So I'm going to chop mine up after I do um, Beth's um, second thing from last night. And again, I'm going to do hers as a card. So I'm going to set this aside to dry all the way. So if you want to do Beth's prompts from last night on a full page, you can. I'm going to use this piece of, um, 
think it's mixed media paper. It's been cut off for a while, but I'm going to tape my borders off and everything. I just use um, the cutting boards that you can get two of them in a package for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to just tape off the edges with some masking tape. I did clean up before I started, so everything got put away. And it's only nine o'clock, you guys. So um, we usually go to Scott come home, but he's he's not going to be home tonight. So. Oh, y'all want an alternate for 12? Okay, here you go. Make lines with a card. That can be an alternate. And then the last one that was in the bowl, I'll give you that one too. Words. So that this is an alternate. And this is an alternate. So the first alternate was make lines with a card or you can add words. And that's all that's in the bowl. We actually went through them all. So that was fun. No, it's not. Um, we just have to sign up in the group. Because um, we're going to work on it throughout July. So you can sign up as long as you have nine by August 24th. Either dirty dozen, or you, if you miss some dirty dozens, you could always use some of um, Beth or Lisa's prompt sessions. But I had intended for it to be dirty dozen prompt sessions, so that they were all dirty dozen. But it's okay if you mix in some of the others. I just thought it would be cool to have all of them in one place. And I just kind of eyeball, so these aren't. These are not perfect quarter inch borders. It's just an eyeballed white edge. Journey, I'll just add you. I can, I can tell you, Mark, you is going if you want to. And you'll be in group two if that's okay. All right. What Beth did last night, and it was kind of fun, is she would ask for a technique, and then she would pull one of her color sticks. And so um, on her color sticks, she has two colors. And the only thing I'm going to change a little bit is I'm going to let you choose whether you want to use both colors or if you want to choose one color, one out of the two colors. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys. So who all is playing and are you ready? Well, we're going to do each, each group. You need to send a, a nine ATCs to each participant. Because it's supposed to be a set. It's a nine pocket ATC swap. It's not individual ATCs. Okay. All right. So these are her prompts. I wrote them down last night. The first one, there's only eight of them and they shouldn't take long. The first one is swipe or scrape red and white. So you can choose to use red or white or both. I'm going to use both, and luckily, I don't have to get up and go get them. And when Beth was swiping it, it reminded me of the Christmas, um, that um, chocolate you can get that's got the peppermint on it, and it looked so yummy on the screen. <laughs> And I'm working on a card, so. Yep. 
your paper isn't how many do you get out of a sheet see if if y'all need a smaller group to swap i can make smaller groups um if you if you can't get that many out of a sheet um we could just make a smaller group or like holly said um put two pieces of paper together and do the prompts across two pieces of paper yes that's it peppermint bark gosh i love it too but it's not good for my blood sugar and i am trying so hard to be good uh deborah it's my group on facebook are we friends on facebook i don't think we are um i've i decided to go ahead and open my group back up it's private you have to um friend me on facebook um and then i'll add you to the group i'm not making it a public group i just want to keep us at 100 members only it's seven by ten And on Facebook, look for oh, it says error. Try again. It won't let me share my name. I can. I can. I'm sitting here trying to think of how many she could get. Um, if I can remember what I did with it. I put them up when I was cleaning up. Oh, here it is. Mine alligator because of last week's um, ATC. So these are the, the sheets. And see, this was the first week we did it. And this was the second. And then I have nine sheets in here. nine and this week's will go in this pocket so um you can on the seven inch side you can do two of the three and a halfs three and a half and three and a half is seven and then out of the ten you should be able to get two and a half and two and a half is five so you should get eight, right? Is that right? We're going to have, by the time this is ready to mail, we will have nine sessions under our belt. And if you're using a um, piece of paper like I do, it's nine by 12, you'll get... 10 out of that you keep one for yourself and one will go into the nine sheets that we have to swap with our group and each group will have 10 members you keep one you send the other nine pages out so you'll get a full page from each person in your swap but if you are only able if you only have smaller papers you could do we could do a smaller group but you would have to do some prompt sessions with like Lisa and Beth to make up um, some of the, the pages, um, I think, to have enough. I don't know. You'd have, a, you'd have plenty with Dirty Dozen ones. But um, if you wanted to make a smaller group, I just need to know if you need smaller groups because of size of paper. That's no problem. You would just have some extras. Hi, card chick.
So seven by 10. Seven by 10. Here, 10. Becky, come on. Math is hard, okay? Three and a half and three and a half is the seven. So on your seven, you'd get three and a half inches twice. Then this way would be your two and a half inch measurement. So you'd get four. So yeah, you'd get eight out of a seven by 10 inch piece. If you cut on the skinny sky side, cut, cut it in half at three and a half. And then each of those cut at the two and a half width. So you'd have eight ATCs. So you would need a, a, a group of eight. You'd keep one and send seven out instead of nine. And in the group, I am putting the prompts for the dirty dozens that we've done to for those first two ones that I showed you in my group on Facebook, all of the prompts to make these two are in there. Does that make sense? So you can go back and do dirty dozens to complete all of the nine pockets. Um, but if you like, yeah, if you only are getting um, like the eight out of here, you'd only need to do like a prompt session with Lisa and a prompt session with Beth and you'd have enough to fill up um, the nine pages the nine holes, if that makes sense. We'll get it all worked out, Jennifer. It'll be fine. Okay. Um, I don't know who all is playing. We're doing best. Pick eight from last night. Is everybody ready for the next prompt on that? And remember... Um, you, you don't have to use both colors. You can choose a color out of the two that Beth had called out. So the next technique was stenciling. So you're going to stencil with yellow and purple or yellow or purple. And I think I'm going to do... Doo, 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 doo. I think I'm going to get some purple. And I'm going to skip the yellow. Fine, Janice. That's fine. I think I like this one. I'm going to be up half the night cleaning stencils. Or I might just wash the dishes and throw the stencils in my in the sink with some Murphy's oil soap or something. Now I'm not going to need a lot of paint because I have a very tiny space I'm using tonight. And since this is going to be done into a card, I think I'm just going to do it like a border, shadowy edges. All right, so I'm ready. Stencil with yellow and purple 
or yellow or purple. You guys play nice. <laughs> So um, once you've done that, the next one that she had, we called out spray, and then she said orange and yellow. So orange and yellow or orange or yellow. I'm going to go see what I have and go from there. And what Beth did I thought was cool is she had a bingo dauber, and she put the bingo dauber down on her paper, and then she sprayed it with... Um, just water in her Mr. Sprayer and let it um, drip down and it looked like she'd sprayed it. There's not much yellow left in this. I have to cover y'all so I don't spray the, the computer again. Let's see. Oh, air conditioner, you're going to have to quit blowing for just a minute. Let's see what happens here. All right. I'm going to have to dry this. <laughs> and I did yellow, and I did purple, and I did red and white. Ooh. This is going to be an interesting card. I'm going to take paper towel and try to pick some of that back up. All right. All right, Lisa. So there's mine so far. All right. And I'm, I'm just going to go through these quick because um, I want to work on my ATCs. All right. The next we called out was texture paste. And she called out pink and blue. So I, I actually have some pink texture paste and I'm just going to use it. I said I was. Let's see. Yeah. Man, the bugs are really loud tonight. I bet it's going to rain tomorrow. I don't know if he'll fit on there. I don't know how a turtle would feel about being. Um, done in pink. Let's use this. Scrap chick is Colleen and card chick is Josie.
might have to get more out. Um, Janet, I just put mine in eight and a half by 11 binder, even my six by six. And I did like at Amy L. John did. And I just put a sheet of um, inexpensive copy paper in each pocket. And on each side of it, I would did like a quick stenciling with ink. Um, so I knew which, which stencils um, were out of place because if you stencil a little bit on each page, then you know which pocket it goes in and you know it's missing. Does that make sense? Amy L. John, she does a lot of really great um, videos on inexpensive crafting. And um, she just did one on making your own light box. You guys might want to check it out. It was pretty cool. But I get all of my, like, these little ones for the little guys, I pick up at the thrift store for less than the Dollar Tree. But at Dollar Tree, they're only a dollar. And then the the sheet protectors, sometimes I find them for the full sheet for 8.5 by 11 at the thrift store for just a couple dollars, too. Oh, I need to turn the air back on. We'll get you girls all figured out. Ooh. Josie has an idea. What about old CD holders? You know, the ones that you could flip through? I wonder if that would work. I'll have to look at... I want to go thrifting so bad I can't hardly stand it, but we're so busy on the house this week. This stuff I got on clearance. It's Heidi Swap uh, metallic texture paste. So it's shiny. So there you go. Just mention it here and somebody will throw out an idea. All right. I'm going to call the next one. I know I'm going fast, but I'm working on card size so it doesn't take long. Um, all right. The technique that was called out was draw. And the colors are were called yellow and black, or yellow or black, whichever you want to do. Um, I've already got yellow on this. Is my texture paste dry enough for me to do? I'm going to have to dry this a little bit, and then I'm just going to take my, my black marker and do my border edge for drawing. I'm going to draw a square. <laughs> It's going to go all the way around my little piece of paper.
All right. Get my ruler. One of them's getting kind of low. And I think this is, I guess it's, it'll be all right if I flatten it a little bit. And I'm just going to leave a little bit exposed next to my ruler. And then my masking, I'll stop it from going on the rest. And just make me a box. I'm drawing a box. And again, I'm just eyeballing this. So it's not going to be even and perfect. I think doing these smaller pieces, I actually spend more time on it than I do on a page page. That's kind of crazy. But I know I'm, I need to keep it small so I can just add a focal image or a, a sentiment or something to the front. So I don't want to go too crazy with it. Clean as you go and then you don't have to have a mess. <laughs> yeah, right. Like that's going to happen. As I look at this pile of paint that's got to go back on its rack here in a minute. Ha yeah, ha have fun, Suzanne. Be safe. Happy 4th of July. Okay, so I did that part. Um, and I used black. The next technique was called was splatter and then Beth listed yellow and green so you can splatter with yellow and green or yellow or green I got this little thing that's got dried paint in it and I'll just I just want a little dot and I'm actually going to splatter with both of them this time. And I'll just put it over my trash can so I don't get water everywhere. Put about three squirts in each one. Uh-uh. Rooster. Rooster time. Nah. We're going to ignore the rooster. Hey, Sus. All right. I did that one. I need to dry it. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Suze. I'm glad you stopped in. I hope your mom has good results from it. Or they find the problem and can fix it.
Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. That's good news. That's good news. All right. So um, the technique for number seven was punch flowers. And the colors that she pulled out were, or called out were red and blue or red or blue. So I'm going to get a couple flower punches out real quick. I got to put my bucket of stuff back under the chair. I want to cut that up before we go tonight. Okay, I'm going to set this aside to dry real quick. And the colors were, what did I say, red and blue. And there's a piece of blue scrap. And... A piece of red scrap. Certainly, I've got some kind of red in here. If not, I'm gonna go get another piece. I've been trying to use up the little little bits of don't have some red in that bucket of scraps. Now I do. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to make some focal image type things for my card front. I'm not going to use all these that I'm punching out. I just like to, while I've got it out, just punch out some. I'll put most of these in my little tub of things to create flowers later. Put that scrap back in the scrap bucket and I'll use every bit of it. That piece we're not going to use because I cut that flower in half. All right. So... Somewhere I've misplaced one of my things, and it's my favorite sized one. So, I'll use this one for now.
Whoops. I'll look at chat here in just a minute. Whoops. My cat's freaking me out. I'm going to make five flowers. So I'm halfway there. And I'm thinking I should give them some leaves. Don't you guys think they need leaves too? I need one more flower after this. Oh my goodness. All right, that'll give me five flowers. While I'm working on these, I'll tell you guys what the last the last one is: uh, punch butterflies, blue and and or yellow. Okay, and then that's all it is to this. That's all Beth had on it. Come on, Howard. Come on. You're fine. Oh, I had that uh, clear glue out here. And I think I'll use these. Did I get five? No, I got There's five. Did I put it back in? I don't know what happened to it. And This stuff works and holds pretty quick. I got it at Tuesday morning. We're doing Beth's um, 
second pick eight from last night real quick here. set that aside to dry if it'll let me push it over there. Flipped upside down. You know, they couldn't all possibly come to the door at the same time. Each cat's like, oh, no. I'll wait till you're sitting down and you're busy. Oh, I want to come in and eat. Oh, no. I just blew my other flowers to smithereens. I got way too much glue that time. But it dries clear. Let's see. I really don't know where the other flower went. There it is. Are you guys picking on the dog? That's not very nice. Good night, Sharon. She's probably already gone. It keeps getting bubbles coming out the end. That's why I get too much glue. But I don't worry about it. It dries clear. And... Looks fine in the end. So there's five little flowers. They're going to need some leaves. Um, leaves. Since everything I, I've got to do needs to be done on just the card front, I'm going to go ahead and remove my tape. I've been sticking this on the side of the table thinking I might use some of it as uh, washi tape.
Uh oh, this needed to come off first. And I'll punch a butterfly out, out of blue or yellow, probably yellow. And add it on. See, this is what happened last night. I did not get enough of the stick -um removed. And it pulled at the paper some. No matter how slow I went, I still ended up with some that had pulled the paper loose. All right, so there's that. And I think what I'll do to cover that up is I'll just have a leaf come off down there <laughs> like so. Oops. Hi, Howard. Hey, buddy. You're okay. I just... Uh, what? I can't hold you right now. He says, well, then I'll just tear all your stuff up. These cats are a trip. This is not even partway still glued together. Oh, come on. It all needed to like to dry before I tried to put it together. What are you chewing on? No. What are you doing? Don't act like I've killed you and fall over. It doesn't look nice. Okay. And then I can put a sentiment in the in the middle. I still got to add a butterfly on here. There's probably enough glue there to hold everything down if I could just pick it up without it. Because I'm trying to rush it. It's not wanting to do. This stuff sticks pretty good, and I get it at, at Tuesday morning. Of course, with that, at Tuesday morning, it's kind of a crapshoot about what you'll find and when. All right, so we need a, um, a blue and yellow butterfly. And then she had an alt at the end of doodle. So if you wanted to doodle on anything, you could. So let me let me um, punch out a yellow butterfly, and this will be done. And how he wants attention, because he doesn't get enough. He could possibly get enough attention, even though he's been in here like four times. Don't tell me I don't have any yellow scrap. I've got to get some yellow scrap sort.
Oh, there goes the fireworks. Starting up. Well, I'm going to be like Mary, and I'm going to go rogue because I just found I have some gold. So I'm going to punch out a gold butterfly and say it's yellow. How about that? Will that work? It's kind of a yellow, right? And I don't want to keep you guys real late um, with it being 4th of July and all tomorrow and I don't know who's doing fireworks tonight I, like everybody else around here yep that's right yellow gold so I have a gold butterfly and I think that'll look really pretty what I ought to do is punch another one out of maybe black for a base. Let's see here. I know I have plenty of black scraps because I use it for matting all the time. In fact, I'm going to need a piece for mat and I can just use this as my mat board. I'll punch a black butterfly. As I said, little bits all over the floor. When this punch was brand new, it would punch like really good. Just pop it right out. And now it doesn't do that anymore. And I've tried the aluminum foil and I've tried, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to want to sharpen anymore. Uh-oh, I think I cut too much off it. Okay, set that aside, and we'll put a little glue in the middle, and put his wings on it. Kind of hold him there. You really can't rush these things, and I'm trying to. But you match his middle up and just glue just the middle, and then his wings can be separate. Like so. And then I'm just going to Got some glue here and there. And put the butterfly on the card. And then I have a place here where I didn't put texture paste that I can do like, hello friend, or just a note, or something like that. <laughs> so thank you, Beth, for the wonderful prompts. That was fun. I'm going to set this aside to dry before I mat it because if I don't quit messing with it, it's going to ruin it. So we'll set it over here to dry. And I'll quickly cut up my ATCs. And then I'm going to wrap it up for the night because I need to get better sleep that I got last night. <laughs> All right, so the first two cuts are the two and a half inch on the short side. So we cut two and a half. Do 
get it get it even here. So that's two and a half and two and a half again. And then this one you cut it three and a half. And then you got that little strip you can save and do something with if you want to. And then we're going to cut off the two and a half off the three and a half. So there's one. Two. These are going to be cool. I got to think of what the theme is going to be. Three. And then I got this little extra piece. And then these cut it three and a half. Good night, Tanya. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did cut all the way. I'll flip this one so I can get that interesting star, star pattern on it. You could make um, not quite, you could have to make inches out of these, which that could be fun too. You can make some little inchy um, things to have put on the ends of strings, charms, inchy charms. So there we go. Yeah, that would be cool too. I'd have to save them in a bag. The, the ones like this. Yeah, that would be pretty. So, there's those five and the little bonus pieces and the pick eight that I did with her with uh, best prompts and then we also did um, these borders and we did these at the very beginning for everybody that um, came in a little bit later so if you want to go back and watch at the beginning you can see how I did these borders so we did eight different borders and I will try to come up with eight more for next week and I was going to wrap it up here and hope y'all have a safe and but fun 4th of July. And remember why we celebrate it. And um, enjoy your independence. And I will see you guys later. If I go to bed now, I might be at Mary's in the morning. So, bye guys. Take care.